Let's solve this together. It says x squared minus y is equal to 60 and y squared minus s is equal to 60. We're trying to solve for the values of x and y. Watch carefully. The first thing I do here is to say that equation 1 minus equation 2 will give me x squared minus y squared. This is minus minus x is plus x minus y. All right? And this is equal to 60 minus 60 is 0. From here, we can say, using the difference of 2 squared, that this becomes x minus y into x plus y. Grouping this becomes plus x minus y is equal to 0. Okay? Let's factorize x minus y. We have x minus y into x plus y plus 1. It's equal to zero. Okay. Now we have when the product of this is equal to zero, it's either the first one is equal to zero or the second one is equal to zero. So it's either that x minus y is equal to zero, implying that x is equal to y. But we said clear in the equation that x is not equal to y. Okay, so this equation, this solution is not possible. Alright. Now the second option is that x plus y plus one is equal to zero. Implying that x plus y is equal to negative 1, okay? This should be very important for us. So from here, we can say that let's now add equation 1 and equation 2. We have x squared plus y squared minus into, okay? Now we have x plus y, okay, is equal to... 120. All right. Now, from here, we can now say that x squared plus y squared minus x plus y, okay, is 120. Now, recall that we said that our x plus y is minus 1. So we have that x squared plus y squared minus into minus 1 is equal to 120. All right. From here, we have that x squared plus y squared plus 1 is equal to 120. Now, from here, we can say that our x squared plus y squared is equal to 120 minus 1 is 119. All right? So, this is our equation 2. So, moving on from here, we can say, recall that from equation 1, we say from equation 1, our x plus y is equal to negative 1. If we square this, we have that x plus y squared is equal to negative 1 and negative 1 is positive 1. Alright? Now, so we can say moving on from here, x squared plus y squared is equal to 119. Okay? So we have that, we have that x plus y all squared is equal to 1. Alright? Now, x plus y all squared determines in us x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. And this is equal to 1. Now, remember that our x squared plus y squared plus 2xy can also be said to be 1. Let's group this together now. What does this remind us of? This, okay? So we have 119 plus 2xy. It's equal to 1. From here, we have that 2xy will be equal to 1 minus 119. 2xy is equal to negative 118. So that our xy is equal to 59. Negative 59. Alright? Now, let's call this equation 3. So, we can now see that this is what we have here. Let's make a sort of formula in equation 3. We have 59 divided by y is equal to x. So you can put 59 over y as x in equation 1. We have 59 divided by y plus y is equal to minus 1. Okay, this is minus 59 rather. Alright? Now, multiply each side by y. We have minus 59 plus y squared minus y is equal to, sorry, is equal to negative y. 
All right. Say that y squared plus y minus 59 is equal to 0. Let's use the quadratic formula to solve this. We have that y here will become equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So from here, we can now say that y will become equal to, okay, minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared minus 4 times negative 59, okay, all over 2 times 1 is 2. From here, we have that y will become equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 4 times 9 is 36. Carry 3, 4 times 9 is 20 plus 3 is 23. All over 2. Okay? So from here we now have that y will become equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 237 all over 2. Okay? So from here we can now say, recall that y is equal to 59 all over x. Okay? Now, or now, we can now say that x here also be equal to 59 all over y. And what's our y? This. So, we now have that when x, sorry, when y is equal to 1 plus root of 2, 3, 7 all over 2, we have from here that our x will become equal to 59 divided by this whole thing here. So, we have 1 plus root of 2, 37. All over 2. So our x becomes equal to 59 multiplied by 2 divided by 1 plus root of 237. Okay, this becomes equal to 59 multiplied by 2 is 118 divided by 1 plus root 237. Let's conjugate this, let's rationalize this denominator. Let's multiply it by 1 minus root 237. Over 1 minus root 237. This is now equal to 118 e to 1 minus root 237 divided by 1 squared is 1 minus root 237 squared is 237. This 118 e to 1 minus root 237. Divided by negative 2, 3, 6. Okay. This is now equal to 118 into 2, 3, 6 is 2. So we have 1 minus root 2, 3, 7. Okay. Divided by negative 2. Alright. So this is the value of x when y is equal to 1 plus root 2, 3, 7 over 2. Invariably means that when y will be equal to 1 plus root 2, 3, 7, 1 minus root 2, 3, 7, x will be equal to 1 plus root 2, 3, 7. So we say that the values of x becomes 1 plus or minus root 2, 3, 7 all over 2. Okay? So x is equal to this and y will be equal to, okay, we can now say 1 minus or plus 2, 3, 7 all over 2. Just to create, because when it's plus here, it becomes minus here. When it's minus here, it becomes plus here. So this is the answer for this question. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video.